Hello everyone, this is Julie with Craft with Julie and today I want to share another stamping technique. Um, I'm sharing a few this month because it is um, close to my heart, Stamptacular Cell. So all of our stamps and stamp, stamp sets with thin cuts are on sale all month long. So I wanted to share some stamping techniques. I have this chart that Close to My Heart has um, put out that has different techniques. There's six of them and the month is getting away from me so I need to start making more videos. So today we're going to talk about second generation stamping. We've already done solid stamping so if you missed that video you can go back and check that out. Um, but today we're going to talk about second generation stamping. Also if you would like a copy of this chart just comment chart um, in the comments below and I will um, message you and I can get this to you. So second generation stamping is basically you ink up the image, you make, um, you stamp it off on a scrap, scratch piece of paper to remove some of the ink and then you stamp it again on your project um, to get a softer shade of the color that you want. Um, and a lot of times I use it right on my project. And let me show you what I mean. I'm going to put this away. So I have a little scratch piece of paper right here. I'm going to be using our April stamp of the month again. Um, this stamp set is only available during April. Um, and it's just so fun. Like all those Scandinavian type images. So let me grab, I'm going to do this flower right here. And with acrylic stamps, sometimes they bend. And so what I recommend is just laying it down on your work surface and then going ahead and picking it up with your block so you get, so the image is on there straight. If you have a brand new stamp set, I have some things on my block. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, if you have a brand new stamp set, you'll wanna season it and you can season it by just rubbing it on your hand or you can ink it up and stamp it off on a scratch piece of paper. That works as well. And in each stamp set comes this, I call it, what do I even, <laughs> a little fluffy piece of foam and it will help you get a nice crisp image. And let me grab candy apple and let me show you what I mean. So a lot of times on projects, I like the different shades and so I will just ink it up and then I will stamp it and then stamp it right next to each other and you can get three different shades of that same color and I will do that right on a project. Um, I think it's really pretty and, and it's almost like you have three different ink colors for that. Now second generation stamping, um, you can ink it off and then you stamp it on your project so you have that um, lighter but can you see those three different shades so cute so let me show you on a project um, you guys have seen this card that I created I just posted it I believe yesterday I posted this um, card and you guys voted if you liked the, I'm trying to find my card bases, and there they are. If you liked the blue stripe or the yellow stripe, and blue stripe is winning, so thank you. That's what I'm gonna use today. But what I'm gonna do is, um, let me grab, I actually need that and that. Okay, let me get organized. So I'm going to actually stamp this flower on this circle using second generation. And why I'm using second generation is because this paper, as you can see, it's not quite that bright cranberry, but if you do the second generation, it matches better with my paper. So that's why I'm gonna do the second generation on this. Um, even though the paper packet calls for, or I keep saying cranberry, it's not cranberry candy apple um I just that first stamp was just a little too dark for this paper I needed a little bit softer 
So that's why I chose to do it second generation. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to ink up my flower. I'm gonna stamp it off and then I'm gonna stamp it right on my circle. I'm gonna do it again and I'm gonna offset it just a little bit and then I'm gonna do it again. So I have those nice three more soft toned flowers on my, on my circle, which match the paper better. All right, so I can put this away. Now I'm gonna bring in, let me clean this off really fast with my stamp chamois. I'm going to make a thank you card. So I'm going to bring in the thanks. It will fit right on that same block. I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna lay it down on my work surface and then I'll pick it up with my block. There you go. If it's brand new, you'll wanna season it. And I'm going to use Fern. Now this is one of our old ink pads, you'll see. <laughs> they are a little more cumbersome, but it still works. And so I will use this ink until it dies and then I'll get the new one, the new nice magnetic one. So I'm gonna ink that up in Fern and I'm gonna do full strength right over the top of those flowers so it shows through, okay? And then, wipe that off and now I can finish my card let me grab my other elements so here's my card base and here is my pattern paper oh I'm actually doing it this way sorry isn't that the prettiest paper this is from the eat play love um, paper collection and then here is the zip strip from that collection and what I mean by zip strip let me show you on the top of our pattern papers is this zip strip and on one side it tells you what paper packet it tells you the colors that are in that paper packet and then on the opposite side there is a nice half inch pattern that you can use on your project. So that is what we call a zip strip. And let's go ahead and attach this. Oh, there's my glue. You could use that side, nice and bright. But I really, I'm really drawn to this floral pattern. Then I'm gonna add a little bit actually let me look at the pattern I used so how I got the idea for this card I grabbed my make it from your heart volume 5 this is the new close to my heart idea book um, and in here they have all the blueprints for the different projects that are in this book so we have um, scrapbook pages scrapbook layouts and also cards and here's the blueprint and then you can turn to page 62 that's the card I've used right here and it gives you the dimensions of what to cut so this is a two and a half circle and then this is five and a fourth by four on the background and then it gives you examples I mean, these are pretty fancy. Mine's gonna be simple, but it gives you ideas of how to finish off that card. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna put this on about right there. Because on this one, they put a ribbon. And I'm like, oh, I can totally do a zip strip right there. Then I'm going to use Fern Circle, and I just cut these out on my um, on my Cricut. Then I'm going to add my thanks right on top of that. Super easy card. 
and it shows off that second generation. Isn't that cool? Okay, so if you have any questions about it or any products that I used, um, I will put, I'll put it in the comments or the description of the video. So if there's anything that you want to check out a little bit closer, you can. You can find all these products on my website, which is juliescott.closemyheart.com. And if you would like this chart showing off the different techniques that we're going to be doing, um, just comment chart on the in the comments and I will message you. And while I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and add my sample for second generation. How about that? We'll just do that really quick. Again, you just want to ink up your image and I'm just going to do it right across and I'll just do the three like I did before. There you go. Not fun. So if you have more muted paper and you know the colors you have are just a little off, you can always try the second generation stamping and get a lighter color. So thank you, thank you so much for watching. And again, if you have any questions, please let me know and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.